Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about this modified scout with 1 million damage per second uh, prediction slash leak or whatever. I don't know if this is a troll post. Uh, it might be, it might not be. But uh, Paradoxum Games, which is a Twitter account for TDS, post is saying, thinking about making a new code that gives you a modified scout with the 1 million damage per second. Best part is only one person can redeem it and then it has an upside down face emoji now let's check some of the comments and then i'm gonna give you guys my own opinion my thoughts and etc colin is like give it to me and then there's like yes there's a there's a no <laughs> no lol <laughs> i want it well no way yeah definitely no way <laughs> plus no that person is me man spectral rift must be a special person <laughs> don't do it no i yo what <laughs> do that but is dj imagine dj with a million dps holy please don't bot i triple dog dare you to do it yeah that's what i'm talking about young john <laughs> with the buzz lightyear profile pick and then yes that would be epic i wouldn't care to get it but it's so epic to whoever does this guy's a liar we found the liar boys he says i wouldn't care to get it no 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 no. we all know he wants to get it right everyone knows he wants to get it he's a big fat liar we all know it and um lol bro make it mine uh i don't know what this face is i think this is a shocked uh shocked face it's like no so like there's a lot of no's uh, this is pretty funny no don't do it uh, dm me it with the winky face <laughs> and he's like bruh so yeah there's a lot of people saying no there's a lot of people saying give me it uh and then some other people saying please don't probably uh implying that is probably a bad idea for a million modified scout million dps oh man i'm just so excited even thinking about it to be honest guys so with the comments read, uh, I wanted to talk about the prediction and what it's going to change. So obviously a million DPS, if the tower's max rank is a million DPS, it's probably going to have something like 100,000, 300,000, 700,000 DPS for, for its upgrades, right? Kind of progressive. So scout is going to be the same thing, right? Level 0 scout uh, that costs I think 600 to play down probably less uh is gonna have like hundred thousand dps <laughs> so if you were to spam it it would literally just obliterate everything right so solo insane dead ahead easy uh solo uh insane or fallen mode nightmare carnival badlands you name it uh solo hidden wave uh everything it's just way too easy right uh, because if you're soloing, you also get to play down 40 troops. So 40 times 1 million, that's 40 million DPS. 40 million DPS, nothing can stop that, honestly, nothing. <laughs> it's just gonna shred everything. Like, it'll be the ultimate shredation, the most amount of shreddage that you guys will ever see in TDS. And it'll it'll be even better than the uh, Outlaw and Commander glitch, uh, out, like a while back, where uh, they used to go like, Yo! <laughs> Holy shit! So <laughs> it'll be crazy, like absolutely insane if it were to actually come out. Um, now, when it comes to who is going to get it, I actually have a prediction, guys. I know who's going to get it. I know. It's easy. It's very easy. And do you guys know who that person is? I know who is going to get it. And that person is a Discord moderator, aka Snorlax, 6 foot 11, thousand pounds absolutely big thick and chungus now if you guys didn't get the joke uh, i meant like it's gonna be a person who's sitting in front of the computer ever since the twitter post came out and it came out at 2 20 p.m which is about an hour and 30 minutes ago he's been staring at the screen with five bags of chips in front of his computer and he's just waiting he's just waiting there he has five bags of chips he has water and that's it. He's not even going to the restroom. He's just sitting there in front of his computer like Snorlax. Because Snorlax never moves. Why? Because he wants to get it. That person is just going to get it. Why? Because that person, the moment he sees a Discord ping, he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to get it. Everywhere else on his body is slow, but his hands are fast. His hands are very small and fast compared to the rest of his body because that's what he uses the most. And that person is definitely going to get it. 
<laughs> like seriously though but um i personally don't think that the modified scout tower will uh come out just because you know the tower will be way too op you know it'll just completely shred everything and just make every challenge is useless and you know I would personally like to have that tower just for content and just to show off, you know, how amazing the tower is. And considering it's a scout, right? Like, imagine scout being the best tower, right? That's the thing. Imagine scout being the number one tower. And if that were the case, right? Because scout has hidden detection. Right now, we cannot say any one tower is the best because every single tower that exists in TDS has to work with each other to make up a tower deck and you can't solo anything with just one tower actually i think you might be able to solo easier molten with just golden scouts actually i think yeah i think golden scouts can be used to solo uh, molten mode especially because you can have 40 troops but there isn't like a single tower that you can use to solo fallen with right and fallen is obviously uh the hardest game mode if we're not comparing its relative difficulty, which is basically, you know, I said that beginner mode is the hardest because it's meant for beginners, but fallen mode is definitely like when compared to beginner mode, uh, assuming that all towers can be used is definitely harder. But anyway, this modified scout with 1 million DPS, AKA ascended scout, it's ascended because it's, it's amazing now, uh, will definitely be the best tower in the entire game, right? Because you can literally do everything with it. You could solo an event, you could solo uh, hardcore mode, you could solo anything and everything with just that one tower. So that will be the best tower in the entire game. And I don't think anyone can argue that it'll be the best tower because it's simply like 1 million DPS. Like who would think that that's a number two tower? Let's be honest, right? Like sure, like it doesn't have any supportive capabilities, but who cares if it doesn't have any support abilities, right? <laughs> it's just gonna shred everything, which is like, it'll just like pew pew and one tap everything. Like every time we hear the pew, a zombie is dead. Pew and the Fallen King dies. Pew and the Void Reaver dies. Pew and everything dies, <laughs> right? So it doesn't matter if it has literally no support abilities. It's just gonna be so strong that it, it's not even gonna matter. But as always, I would like to know what you guys think about this, uh, about the video's topic. So let me know in the comment section below and see you guys in the next video. Bye.